So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you easily do this all within Adobe Premiere. And as a bonus tip, I'm also going to show you all how to do this in After Effects as well. So stay tuned. So if you don't know what this is, this is essentially motion tracking. And to understand motion tracking, all it is is you're keeping one object in the center frame. And how you can do this through AI is through After Effects. After Effects, all you do is you track your motion and you go into After Effects and you just click position. But if you just have a Premiere and you don't want in get to get into the technicalities of Premiere Pro, the easiest way of how you do motion tracking is by essentially the workaround is keyframing and having your safe margins and understanding whatever it is that you're trying to track, keep that directly in the middle. And I'm gonna jump right into my laptop now. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how you do motion tracking. Super simple. Since now we are in Adobe Premiere, this is the setup that you'll initially need. So before you get any confused about what's going on, I'm just gonna clear this for you. And you guys can see exactly what you need. So first is you need a clip that has motion, right? So right here, drag the beginning of this clip with my widget spinner, go left and right, drag that into my timeline. Next is you wanna right click your program monitor and you wanna make sure that you have your rulers as well as your safe margins. And how you turn on your rulers is you click this toolbar over here and making sure that you have your rulers as well as your guides. Next is you wanna drag right in the middle, right here. And then next you grab on the left and this will be your center point. And whatever you're trying to track and making sure it's in the middle is gonna be the finish spinner. So I'm just going to click both my keyframes here and I'm gonna to go to make sure that the middle is the fidget spinner. So making sure that is straight in the middle. Next is I'm going to be clicking on the motion tab here and you move keyframe and then you move that up, it goes up. Don't worry if there's black space, fix that in a bit. But now you're essentially it's a little tedious, but you're going frame by frame and tracking, manually tracking the center keyframe. And if you do this properly, and the more accurate you do it, the more frames one by one, that is totally fine. But the more you do it, the more accurate and motion tracking effect you will actually have. So that is just gonna be the little tutorial there. So I'm going to unclick this, right? And you're like, okay, and you play that back. As you can see, there's that motion tracking effect. But there's that black space, so how do you fix that? All you do is just kinda zoom it in a bit. And if they're still, you gotta zoom it in even more. So. The more higher quality your, your video footage is, like 4K, the better it will look, right? And that is the simple hack in terms of figuring out how you do that motion tracking within Adobe Premiere is simply by just keyframing it and having your margins. But another way is I'm gonna show you is all you need to do is have that same clip, drag it into your timeline, and we're gonna open up After Effects. So now I'm gonna do replace with After Effects composition. So the super easiest way of why people do this in After Effects instead is it's not that complicated. All you do is you go into your clip right here, you right click and you go into track motion, right? And making sure that your position is already targeted and uh, you want to, you see this track point here, you wanna make it a little bigger and making sure the middle point is exactly where it needs to be. To not one, click apply, and you will see the positioning. All you do is just copy, you can paste this straight in. But as you can see, it kind of moves, and then all you do is you kind of just zoom that in to get rid of the black. 
and is essentially the same concept. Of course, I would let this render out a little bit more, but that is the little hack around of how you do it in Adobe Premiere, but this is how you do it with Adobe's AI, so it does it for you. And that, guys, was exactly how you motion track text, objects, people's faces, all within Adobe Premiere, but you can also do it in After Effects as well, but that is the workaround. If you watched it this far and you don't know who I am yet, my name is Peter from Broke Visionary Collective. Make sure you check out all my links and resources in the description below, and hey, feel free to leave a comment. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.